One thing I truly can say is rest in peace to Mark and Ethan. Unas Anas is no more. I know the temptation is killing you, but please keep this professional. Well, pretty soon it's another piece of history that's going to be gone. Hey, what is going on guys? It's Kaya and I hope your days are wonderful. My days are okay. You know, same shit, different day. Unfortunately enough though, we're on a little bit of a sad note. I was just watching the stream of uh, Unas Anas and uh, for some of you that don't know, Unas Anas is a channel made by Mark and Ethan. The channel was made only to last 365 days as in they were supposed to represent the time of death. Kind of like what would you do in your last year of life? So today marks the one year of Unas Anas. So this is Unas Anas' last day on YouTube. And in all honesty, I can't say that I was the biggest fan of this whole series or anything. Like, I didn't watch it daily. Um, I knew about it, but it wasn't, like, a huge thing to me. But now that, like, the time has come as to where it's, it's going, you know, and it's going to be gone, it, it feels like a piece of history is leaving along with it. Now on the brighter side of things, I believe Mark and Ethan are actually doing a live stream right now, like as this video is being made, talking about the channel, its lifespan, and giving it its final farewells. Now the one thing I do want to say is it's kind of bittersweet to see it go because as my buddy Mimify put it, it's become a part of the daily life of many people. They would, you know, wake up, make a video on their channel, and then actually post another video of Unis Anis at noon. They never missed a single fucking video. Which is absolutely amazing if you think about it. Obviously though there was a lot of help that went on behind the scenes of this entire channel. Like uh, Mark's girlfriend, a bunch of editors and photographers and you know cameramen and all that went into the making of their entire series. But no less it was truly a project on a very ridiculously large scale. Especially for the long term. And then honestly it's quite impressive they even pulled this off. They kind of just filmed themselves doing challenges and like normal shit talking. You know just, just living I guess. Having fun. Which in a sense truly is how life is supposed to be. Now, once that live stream ends in a few hours, the channel will be deleted and gone forever. They did ask you to not archive their videos, do not save them, and if you do post them anywhere on the internet, they will be flagged down. And let's just be honest, there are tons of people that went against their wishes anyway. There's actually an archive on the channel. See, not on their channel. On YouTube, there is an archive for Unas Honest. Now, I'm sure it will be flagged down by the end of the day. I know for a fact that tons of people have already saved and downloaded them to their computers. Rightfully so. I mean, it's a pretty big piece of history and people really enjoyed it so i understand now in all honesty there is no idea nor clue if they'll ever bring back unas honest or even if there's a chance in the slightest but the videos will forever be in our hearts and yeah time will go on and you can't stop it that was actually the whole purpose of unas honest to represent the inevitability of death there are only two things promised in life death and taxes so yeah keep that in mind crank gameplays which is ethan represents unas and Markiplier, obviously Mark, represents Honest. Now, Ethan wearing the black suit represents death, and Mark wearing the white suit, which represents life. Obviously, they go hand in hand with each other. Unus Honest means one year. It's Latin. I'm Spanish, so I instantly understood it, as in unos años. Crazy to think the channel is literally just gonna die off. As far as I can see, though, when it comes to the copyright system, there's probably gonna be no Unus Honest uploads. They most definitely will be flagged down. The clip I'm going to show you actually explains that pretty well. Uh, what are you going to do about Unis Anas reposts? Um, we, I try to take down everything that I see, but the, the long story short is they will be taken down. Um, because we are very serious about that. We honestly just like, we, we're, we're not joking around when it comes to that sort of things. So uh, if you're doing it, just be, be aware, when we submit the takedown request, it will likely delete your channel. Just be aware of that, because that is happening, and I am not apologizing for it at all. <laughs> so this is fair warning. I mean, we, we've already given fair warning about this, that this will happen. If you re-upload the videos, the, you, you know how people have made so many videos complaining about content ID on YouTube? The one good thing about it is that it fucking works. That shit can detect anything. It doesn't matter if you resize it, like flip it, like anything. It just, it grabs anything. Yeah. So if you're doing it, number one, as a personal request, don't. Because that is, the point of the channel is its temporary nature. And number two, we will submit takedown requests. We are not going to claim it. We are going to 
submit a takedown request. And that's a very different process than a claim. Yeah, I think really that's all there is to say. There's not much really for me to grasp on this topic besides how sad but yet amazingly beautiful this is. The idea was amazing and you know, a lot of people wouldn't do this to be fair. I don't know many people willing to delete a 4 million sub channel either. But uh, yeah, and all in all, congratulations Ethan, Mark, and the rest of the crew on your huge accomplishment. Your plans have unfolded and finally came to their end. That's all I really have to say about this today, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't. Subscribe down below to your post notifications. Follow me on Twitter, join the Discord server, and I will see you guys later. Peace.